Welcome to Tinkernut.com's videocast. If you have any requests, please submit those either below or at Tinkernut.com. I'll be happy to answer them. In this project, I'm going to show you how you can map your mind. And what this is, is just a great way of organizing your thoughts or keeping a log of your thought process. To do this, just do a Google search for a program called Free Mind Map. And uh, it's, it's at SourceForge.net. Just uh, click on the resulting link within Google and then just keep clicking on the download links on their page until you uh, can get it downloaded. Then once you've got it downloaded, just go ahead and install it. And whenever it's through installing, you can either automatically uh, let it launch or it should put an icon on your desktop. Now just go to File and New Mind Map to start a new mind map and then just get started. Let's say I want to do one for computers, for instance, and then I can click the light bulb at the top or hit insert to add a new thought node. And I'm just going to do hardware and software just as an example. And then you can keep hitting insert um, or click the light bulb at the top to just keep drilling down these thoughts and uh, keep a, a log of your thought process. So, for instance, in software, I'm going to go to operating systems and then Windows and Macintosh and Linux. And then you can just keep this up uh, pretty much forever. And then to keep yourself organized, you can add labels and tags and different things like that. And then you can also um, link to actual websites. So, for instance, if I highlighted Windows, I could go to Insert and Hyperlink Text Field and then just link it to Microsoft.com. Now, if I click on it, it'll take me to their website. Then you can also link to other mind maps if you want to drill down even more. So, for instance, printers, I'm just going to link to a printer's mind map. And now when I click on it, it'll take me to a completely different mind map so, so that I can keep going. And then you can also uh, link to stuff within this own mind map using, uh, using arrows or using links. And I'll, I'll just stretch this out so you can see the arrows a little bit better. And then you can also add images as opposed to text if you want to keep yourself organized. And then you can just close out all the nodes to kind of minimize things. Uh, and it's great to play around with. Alright, that's it for this. For more, go to Tinkernut.com.